time now to go to Sonny the Paddock Judge to talk about bikes, specifically sulkies. And the game has changed over the course of many years, and mostly the speed of the horses. They now go so fast, and that is mostly attributable to the condition of the racetracks and also the bikes. And Sonny's going to tell us all about sulkies. Let's watch. Thanks, Steve. Today we're going to look at the bike. This is the new advantage, it's called. There's a trainer driver, Tom Harmon, been in the business for over 30 years, is responsible for the design and, and the manufacture of this new bike. This is the most popular bike we have on the racetrack today. It is made up of steel, the wheels are plastic. The reason the wheels are plastic is a safety feature. Most horses, if they do step through the wheel, the wheel will just collapse and save most of the injury would occur on the wheel instead of the horse. The older wheels were made up of spokes, aluminum spokes, which would be dangerous. The horse would get hung up. These bikes are actually heavier than the older generation bike. The older generation bikes were actually 50 pounds lighter than these. And the reason that these are heavier is they track better. Horses actually can move better around the turns, which makes this bike superior to the older generation. You may have noticed how the races are going faster. A big factor is this bike, how it has evolved over the years. I'm Sonny the Paddock Judge. Back to you. Good stuff, Sonny. Let's stay right here at Harris Chester and check out the Monday feature race. Enhanced the night was the overwhelming four to five chalk. Ball gown was the second choice at nine to two. Northwestern was six to one and the public's third choice. Here's James with the call. And they're off. Ball gown left sharply from the center of the track, and so too did Binions from the extreme outside. Irene on the move shows speed at the inside. Pacific Philly is up close as they enter the first turn, and Binions will cross and clear from her outside post position. It's Binions by a length and three quarters from ball gown in second, now joined at the outside by Pacific Philly. Irene on the move will track that trio. She's three lengths off the leaders, and Hans the Knight is next in line. It's a length and a half then. To Northwestern, followed by Un, and the trailer is Pancleaf at Arpels. The opening quarter was 27 seconds even. They come past us for the first time, and Pacific Philly has made the front, clearing from Binions, and Ball Gown is a stalking third. Irene on the move is next, and Enhanced the Night edges off the cones from mid pack, and she flushes out Irene on the move from fourth. Out third over as they enter the bridge turn is Northwestern. Un is saving ground. She's six off the pace. And Pancleaf and Arpels continues to trail as they race past the half in 55 and 1. Across the bridge and onto the back stretch. It's Pacific Philly under a strong Napolitano rain, leading it a length and a half from Binions in the pocket spot. And Irene on the move moves up a joint second from first over. Enhanced the night is tracking her cover now two and a half off the lead. Ball gown is locked in at the cones. Northwestern is third over with four lengths to make up. Un is shuffled back, and Pan Cleef and Arpels is behind excess cover as they enter the far turn. The field is covered by five lengths past three quarters in 124 even. Midway around the far turn, it's Pacific Philly by three parts of a length, and Enhanced the Night slingshots three wide through the turn. Irene on the move is dropping back between Mare's Binions needs racing room. Northwestern is widest of all and three and a half off the lead. At the top of the stretch, it's Enhanced the Night with a two-length advantage. Binions in the center of the track. Pacific Philly is all out. Ball gown dives to the cones. Northwestern on the grandstand side, but they're all chasing Enhanced the Night. Enhanced the Night. At four to five, actually enhanced the day at Harris Chester and won easily by two lengths over Binions with Northwestern third. Time of the mile, 152 flat. And now it's time to go back, way back, back in the time. That's right, all you youngins, you young whippersnappers, gonna go back to 1946 and see the Hamiltonian contested at Goshen. That's right, well, Goshen, you say Goshen, I say Goshen, you say tomato, I say tomato, but it's gonna be a heck of a race, black and white, and if you remember this race, or if you were there to watch it, you're old. <laughs> Let's watch. The Hamiltonian coveted trophy of trotting and the big attraction for the thousands of fans out at Goshen, New York, for the 21st running of the Great Classic. The race was postponed today because of the rain, but the track is jammed, there's money to burn, and 11 three-year-olds get set for the three heats which will decide the rich race. The fans are set, and there they go, behind the ingenious starting gate that gets them away to a fast start.
slow motion camera catches the rhythm and grace of the trotters in this third and deciding heat. Chestertown, a free race favorite with the fans, lost the first heat to victory song. But he leads in the back stretch as disaster overtakes one entry. A broken stride and a broken heart. But Chestertown, with Tom Berry in the sulky, keeps up the killing pace that thrills all trotting enthusiasts. In the home stretch, it's Chestertown in the lead with Victory Song making a strong bid. But Chestertown responds nicely. He's holding his lead. It's close. But Victory Song can't catch him now. Chestertown makes it two heats in a row and victory. A proud moment for owner Smith, driver Berry, and Chestertown. Well, wasn't that great to watch? And I enjoy watching anything that happened before I was born. <laughs> it was a terrific race. The Hamiltoni from 1946, good stuff. And in the weeks to come, there'll be a lot more of that because we went into, back in our archives, we found races from the year six when Methuselah was a baby. Time to take a break now. When we come back, we're going to take a look at Around the Oval. And the big race this week was two limbs of the Cane Pace at Freehold Raceway. And you won't believe what you're about to see. Stay tuned. It's Mac Lobel, and he's pouring it on. It's Niatros by four, and he's going away. The Harness Racing Museum and Hall of Fame, a place where heroes come to life, preserving harness racing's treasured past while promoting its exciting future. And now get ready to harness your excitement with the thrill of Harness Racing's 3D Simulator. The Harness Racing Museum and Hall of Fame, now offering free admission. Bigger, better, bolder than ever. This is where it begins. Here's where it ends. Ron Pierce surging him on. It's Donato Hanover. It's the Donato Tonian. Hanover Shoe Farms, the greatest name in harness racing. Rob is the rabbit's foot because everyone feels a little luckier when he's around. And that's why he's a part of your group. Everyone plays a part at Harris. Only 10 minutes south of the Philadelphia airport. Need cash? Is the rent due? Let ABC Lending come to the rescue. Payday and title loans are fast and convenient at ABC Lending. Prepaid MasterCards and home phone service is also available at ABC Lending. Call us today at 888-222-8803 for the location nearest you. Remember, if you need cash, it's ABC Lending. It's as easy as ABC.